Hi, my name is Mike Kroger. I'm a paramedic with the Western Joint Ambulance District, and I just wanted to try this, do this little video that I've been practicing on um, to make push dose, push dose epinephrine from the Hamilton County um, protocol. So what we've got is we have a 10 cc syringe that is full of normal saline. It's got 10 cc's in there. We've got a uh, amp of one to 10,000, one milligram per 10 ml of cardiac epinephrine. And we have a extension set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, take this end off and try to keep your ends, your caps. So I'm gonna push this, attach this one to 10,000 epinephrine. And what I wanna to try to do is get this down to where, I'm gonna start this down and uh, try to get the water over here. We use this a couple of times. Just get this down to where it stops right at that port. That's where we're gonna put um, the normal saline. So I'm gonna stop her that, I'm gonna stop it. Just push that slide that thing over there. And then we're gonna push, we're gonna put the, um, the normal saline, 10 cc's, right at this needleless port. All righty. I got a little coffee cup here. I'm going to squirt this in. Now we're just going to squirt out of this vial one ml. So we're going to take it from 10 to 9. Okay. And what we're going to do next is we're just going to crimp this end off, open this up, look at our syringe, and we're going to push one ml of the one to 10,000 epi into that syringe. We're gonna stop right there, 10 ml, okay? Now we've got our solution. So I'm gonna close this off. And now I have a vial. I can shake this up a little bit, get that distributed well. So I don't screw up, I'm gonna take this off, put this end on here. And we got that capped off. Okay, so we're ready to hook up to our um, IV port. We can use a needless port or we can put it right into the thing on the end of here. Um, and then we're ready to give our push dope bed. And the, and the protocol you can give of this solution, which is a 10 microgram per ml. Okay, so we got 10 micrograms in here. And we can give 0.5 to 2 mls of this solution two to five minutes so let's say we're going to max it out and we use this to increase heart rate if it's bradycardia we can use this to increase blood pressure and cardiac um, shock also distributor shock we could also use it for anaphylaxis to maintain um, blood pressure so you push this in just to get a heart rate or to get a blood pressure up. So let's say we're gonna do the max. So we're gonna push in, I'm just gonna put this over here so I don't get water all over. And you can see that we're just gonna, we're gonna do the max, we're gonna do two mLs. So we go from 10 to eight, that's our maximum dose. Now we could do that if we need to, to maintain blood pressure and a heart rate um, four more times if we were going to do the max. So basically this syringe lasts for 10 minutes maximum dosage to get a heart rate up or blood pressure back. Okay. Now we could take and do another, um, get another syringe ready using this epinephrine because all we used out of here was, um, one ml. So we can do the same thing, get another one ready if we need to, if we get a long transport over 10 minutes, we can get another syringe ready. We can leave it right on here like we've got this. We can interchange, take this one off, 
put another put the one on and we got another 10 minutes at maximum dose so anyway it's a good idea to practice this i just keep drawing out water out of this coffee cup scram and then in there um so that i and, you know in the heat of battle when you're bouncing around the back of an ambulance knowing what to do and how to do it is a good thing so i hope you find this helpful thanks bye